Here we have the Air Tractor 802 Fireboss. It's originally uh, a crop dusting aircraft uh, that they modified for firefighting, and then they further modified it by putting the floats on it so uh, we can skim off of lakes and other large water sources. So uh, this one, unlike the retardant aircraft that we've looked at, is able to pick up water from a lake and, uh, and then deliver it out to the fire. When we do pick up the water, we typically inject a little bit of foam concentrate in there, and the foam concentrate just helps to make the water penetrate into the fuels a little bit better so that we're actually wetting the forest fuels rather than the water just running off. So typically, uh, these operate in a group of multiple aircraft. Uh, we've got two groups of these. Uh, this group that we're with right now has uh, six airplanes in the group, and our other group has uh, four airplanes in the group. They would operate at a minimum of two airplanes at a time, but we could have, uh, in essence, we could have all 10 working at once, um, but that does get a little uh, congested and awkward, especially if it's a tight space. And just like with our other air tankers, uh, there is a bird dog for these aircraft, and the bird dog will test out the run to make sure that it's safe for the tankers, show it to them, and lead them in uh, to make sure that the water's getting exactly where we need it. Yeah, so we use these aircraft to put water directly on the fire to take down some of the fire intensity, which allows the ground crews to get in to the fire, especially if it's burning too hot for them to get too close. These aircraft, when they pick up water, uh, it varies throughout their fuel cycle. So at the start of their fuel cycle, when they're heavy on fuel, they'll pick up approximately 450 gallons, which is uh, just over 1,500 liters, I believe. As they burn fuel, they'll pick up more and more water, and towards the end of their fuel cycle, they'll be uh, closer to 2,700 liters of water. Okay, so a common misconception is that when these pick up water, that the water gets stored in the floats, but actually what happens is a probe comes down from the bottom of the floats, and the water gets forced in there due to the speed of the aircraft, and it goes up a pipe system, it comes up the struts and then puts it into the tank, and the tank is just up in here, in the main body of the aircraft. 